Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, I want you to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Come on, let's bless the Lord tonight. Let's bless him because of his goodness. Let's bless him, amen, because he's great. Let's bless him because he has kept us all week long and he's brought us down to this Thursday night to worship and to magnify his name. Father, we magnify you, we glorify you. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We thank you that as they're sharing, as they're tagging names right now and they're coming into the house, Father, I pray, God, that this encounter will be one that will shift the trajectory of their life. Father, I thank you that you're getting ready to do signs, wonders, and miracles. I thank you that there shall be a performance in this encounter today. God, we say have your way. We say do what you want to do, God. Father, take full control. Take the will of this encounter. Father, we pray like the mothers in the church. Father, throw your weight around in the room tonight and we'll give you glory. We'll give you honor we'll give you praise it's in jesus name we're getting ready to shift it to worship but i want you to hit that share button and prepare your heart prepare your mind as we go and worship the lord hallelujah glory to the name of the lord jesus let's go back hallelujah what an awesome god we serve listen we're going to take it back again i need you to clap your hands real good yeah father we thank you we give you honor and glory and praise in this room tonight, Father. Somebody is happy on it. Come on, I don't think you're clapping. Y'all ready? Come on, clap your hands real big. 
say that one more time, one more time, one more time. Just say, rain down on me. We need your Shekinah glory. Rain, rain down, rain down on me. Come on, rain down on me. Please, rain down, rain down on me. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. We gotta go. Rain down on me. We really need to rain down on me. Hey, rain down. Rain down on me. We gotta go. We gotta go. Stay right there, y'all. Stay right there. Listen, welcome to Truth on a Thursday. There's something special happening here. I need you to share. I need you to share. Another thing. I need you to share again. All right? Why? Because the Chicago Global is about to rain down in your living room. It's about to drop in your family room. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, I want to release them. They feel like singing tonight. What I want you to do, and I want to do it in five minutes. I want us to hit our goal. Every week, you know, we come to you and we believe in God for great things. We believe in God to finish the renovations here at Wild Sea Studios Phase 2. And your giving helps us do it. So I want you now, very quickly, you've welcomed, you've been welcomed by the Spirit of God. You already feel the presence of God. I want you to follow the instructions on the bottom of your screen. And I want you the show. Here's what I need. I'm believing God for 100 friends, 100 partners, 100 believers, 100 people that just feel the presence of God to get a $20 seed in your hand. And I want you to show right now, you, yes, you, I'm talking, and your neighbor, I'm talking to you. I need 100 of us to stand tonight. We are on point. I'm sorry, Lord, I repent. We are not on point. We are ahead of schedule with completing the renovation project here. And I want to get this thing done for the glory of God. I want you to share, and I want you to share now. I want you to share now. Every week, we have been adding names of people uh, to the floor. Every day, it seems, more people are giving and sowing and contributing to the cause of Christ here. And I want to know if you would be one of those that will stand with us. Some of you, uh, many of you, I pray, are giving that 100 but I need many of you that will also stand and say look I'm sowing 50 right now I'm sowing 50 into the work of the ministry I want to be a part of what God is doing if that's you I want you to come on and do it now we want to put your name even on the stage right now a little more volume in these wedges if you will I, I want the sound to rain down over too <laughs> yeah 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 I want you to sow now I want you to sow if you're doing it, would you say it in the comments now? Would you say it in the comments if you're going to sow? Come on, do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Come on and rain down on me. Come on and rain down on me. Hey. Come on and rain down on me. Come on and rain down on me. Say, come on. We need you to give even now. Please, come on and Come on and rain down on me. Come on and rain down on me. Come on and rain down on me. Come on. to the show. Elder, real quick. Elder, real quick. Would you grab a marker if you don't mind? I gotta go. I said we were gonna do it in five minutes. I think I got about a minute and 50 seconds left. So I wanna do this. If you want, Elder, just write some of the names of those that sold this week. You can pick a spot anywhere on here, wherever you wanna do it. We thank God people are sowing even now. We thank God for people that are sowing. Let me pull up my list. I got excited. The band is not playing fair over there. Let me go to this week. I want to mention some of those that sold this week. We thank God for Shante and for Chanel Martin. We thank God for David Johnson and Colby Holman. We thank God for Brandon Brinson. We thank God for Joy Lowry. We thank God for Gregory Allen. We thank God for Pastor Dale Winston. All of these have sold 50 or more. We thank God for uh, Pastor Quantes Pressman. We thank God for... 
Christopher Pastor, Christopher Foster, $100 gift. For Michael Douglas, for Shayla Weeks. For Jaden Evangelist, Lake Evangelist, Jaden East Ray. Thank God for you. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Listen, I need the rest of you that maybe haven't done it yet. I need you to come on, get on board. And I want you to sow even now. I want you to sow even now. I'm going to get out of the way so that this amazing music ministry can go further. But we're believing God for increase and for great things and for miracles, for signs and for wonders. If you believe it, give God praise at the house even right now. We got to go, but I want y'all to take us higher. There's a word that's going to come, but we want y'all to take us higher. Give God praise as the worship team comes now. voices and lift up your hands the word of the Lord is coming but we're going to just talk about how great he is great is his mercy great is his faithfulness great is his kindness towards us hallelujah thank you Jesus can you just type that in the comment and say he's a great God And it's 
all over the place if you know that it's great. Hallelujah. Whew. Lord, we thank you. Come on, is there anybody that knows he's been faithful to you? Come on, that's somebody in the comments. Come on, Spirit and Truth, talk to me. Anybody know he's been mindful of you? Anybody grateful that he's looked out for you when you didn't look out for yourself? He looked out for you. And for that reason, we praise him, we celebrate him. God bless you, musicians. Hallelujah. Grab your Bibles. It's been a full night already. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get out of church a little early tonight. Uh, there's uh, more great content coming on Wild CTV. In fact, my church comes on uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, tonight. We are excited. And I'm telling you, you do not want to miss uh, what God is going to share uh, through Bishop Moore and Faith Covenant Church. You want to be a part of that. Uh, by way of announcement, I'm very excited, very excited to tell you uh, that as we mentioned, some of you heard us mention a few days ago, the possibility of opening up uh, YLC Studios on March the 7th, the first Sunday of March for a small number of people to come in, a small number of people to come in, about 50 people, and they're going to have to go through testing and all of these things to make sure that everything is everything. You will still have to have your mask on. Uh, but we're going to accommodate about 50 people here in uh, the studio for the first time now in the history of Spirit and Truth. And we're headed to Psalm uh, 115, the 115th Psalm. Uh, you all in the room can be seated. But uh, we've never, 
and the history of spirit and truth allowed a service where it was open uh, to the public in this capacity. And so this is going to be a monumental moment. We said a few days ago, uh, you heard us say that we were going to uh, possibly allow and possibly do it. And I said, I was going to pray about it and see what the Lord would do. Well, I have prayed and we have decided that we are moving full steam ahead and we will have our first ever spirit and truth service with people in the room uh, on March the 7th. You ought to give God praise at the house for that. Hallelujah. Now what we're going to do, what we're going to do, because I don't want you to uh, uh, get the wrong idea. It is going to be registration only. And listen to me, it is only for partners. Amen. It is only for partners so if you have not partnered with us we don't need you to come just so you can spectate and sit and look and see what it looks like in person you can watch on the stream to see that we want the partners that have been praying and believing and sowing into this vision to come and experience what happens when all God's children get together people have already inboxed me and said that they've got their now we just made it official y'all but people have already I guess they had faith uh, for the impossible they bought tickets from Detroit from Chicago People are coming, partners from New York, partners from Las Vegas, literally all over the country, partners are coming together. Some of the pastors in our Wow CTV network are going to join us. And I told you, and I'm going to Psalm 115, but I'm just full tonight. Uh, but I told you that I was seeking the Lord. Should we do it? Will we do it? Uh, is this what you want us to do? I want to be wise. And the Lord, listen to me, the Lord is, a, I'm teaching already, you don't even realize it, but the Lord is a master communicator. And sometimes, hear me, hear me, hear me, sometimes he shows us what to do by what he withholds, and sometimes he shows us what to do by what he provides. We said that we were going to have this service and we were going to call it a BYOC service. What is BYOC? BYOC. What is, what is that? What, what, what is that? Uh, what is BYOC? Let me help you. Bring your own chair. That's what the service, that was going to be the theme. We were, I, I saw and envisioned, I said, we're going to do this. We're going to have lawn chairs all over the sanctuary, folding chairs from fellowship halls across the city. I said, we're going we're gonna to make it work. People bring bean bags, whatever you need to sit on this concrete on. Uh, we were going to make it happen and let it be so. But again, sometimes God confirms by what he provides. Without, uh, a few more, without more than a few moments passing, from the time that I said that on a Facebook Live right here in this sanctuary, within just a few moments, Pastor Abraham Bellinger from Somerville, South Carolina, reached out, First Fruits Community Church reached out and said, you know what, our church just did a remodel, our church just upgraded, our church uh, just got new chairs and, and we have 50 that we were gonna put in overflow, 50 chairs we were gonna put in overflow, but I wanna give them to you. And do you not know that that man of God did exactly what he said? So now on March 7th, you don't even have to bring your own chair. You don't have to bring your bean bag. You don't have to bring your lawn furniture. You can come and sit plush. Uh, in our new sanctuary chairs that will be here in the studio when you get here. I am excited. I hope you are as well. Psalm 115. Very quickly, just a few verses of scripture that I want to walk through tonight. And uh, we're going to sow into the vision and we're going to leave uh, the sanctuary tonight. But Psalm 115, I want to read these uh, verses, verses 12 through 15. These four verses and then I want to just walk through it. Because tonight's Bible said it's going to be a very easy one, very simple one. The Lord has arrested my attention here, and I have to share this. I'm reading tonight from the New King James Version. The 115th Psalm, verse number 12, says these words. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will, verse 13, bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. Verse 14, what does it say? May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. I want to just 
walk with you for just a few moments. I'm going to ask musicians, y'all are so wonderful. If, y'all, if you could just stay right where you are. Uh, because I think that what God wants to say from this 115 Psalm tonight really begins appropriately so in verse 12, where it begins by saying, look at, look at what the translation says. It says, the Lord has remembered us. I could stop right there. I wanted to. Because that alone is a word of encouragement for somebody. Just to know that the Lord has remembered us. New King James Version says that the Lord has been mindful of us. And I must pause and tell somebody that this is significant because you must never allow yourself to get so stuck in what it looks like now that you forget that God is mindful of you. There are people watching, and and let's be very clear, this has been a tumultuous week. Listen to my heart. This has been a tumultuous week. There's been unrest and foolishness in the ranks of church leadership. But hear what I'm saying to you. There have been examples of unrest and confusion and tension in our church politics. The natural world. I had a flashback this week to January of 2020. January 26th when Kobe Bryant in a helicopter in Los Angeles went down into a ravine and lost his life. I had flashbacks when I looked at my phone and saw that Tiger Woods while driving in Los Angeles, California lost control of his car. Ran off the road into a ravine. Fractured. His legs obliterated his ankle, had to be airlifted to a trauma center. This has been a tense week. This has been an uneasy week. Something's going on. Even many of you are still crippled and wrestling with the effects of this unusual weather pattern. Things are different. Things are strange. But I must tell you tonight that the Lord has remembered us. Look at what he says to the psalm writer. The Lord has been mindful of us, but then he goes on as we progress through verse 12 and he says he will bless us bless us is corporate it is wide reaching it's not specific it speaks to all of us he will bless us it's good news because thank God the Bible tells us that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust there are some blessings Lord have mercy tell the true spirit and truth family there are some blessings that you know you didn't qualify for but thank God he reigned on us But then he goes further as we progress through verse 12. He will bless us. That is wide reaching. That is corporate. But then he gets a little more specific. He will bless who? The house of Israel. Those that belong to the family of God. Can I tell somebody prophetically that the saints are getting ready to prosper? Can I remind you of what you already know? That the wealth of the wicked has been laid up for the just. He will bless the house of Israel. He progresses a little further. He gets down the funnel a little bit more specific. He will bless who? The house of Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. What do we know Aaron for? Aaron, that's right. Aaron was a priest. His sons were priests. When God says then that he will bless the house of Aaron, he's speaking to those that are in ministry. He will bless the priest. Talking to some discouraged preachers right now. Maybe some discouraged ministers right now that are heavy and wondering if God has forgotten you. But he will bless the house of Aaron. But then I like how he begins verse 13. He will bless those who fear the Lord. Fear not in a sense of being terrified or frightened of, but fear in the sense of being respectful and reverent toward. He will bless those that fear the Lord. Can I tell you, this is not the season for you to get weary in your well-doing. This is not the moment for you to be discouraged and get ready to faint because he will bless those that fear the Lord. But then he says in verse 13, be more specific, both small and great. I'm talking to some of you right now that feel as if you are a nobody in the kingdom. You feel as if you are small. You feel that you are a no name. But can I tell you that the next blessing that's coming to us is coming to those both small and great. You don't have to have a name to be blessed, not in this season. Because I believe prophetically that yesterday's no names are today's new names. God is shuffling 
the pieces on the chessboard. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. But then, and I'm almost finished, but then we get to verse 14 and it says, may the Lord give you increase more and more. You and your children. May the Lord give you increase. As we get ready to go, I told you it's not going to be long tonight. The Lord has already ministered through praise and worship. Minister Antoine and our amazing music ministry have already set the stage. But the prayer tonight is that the Lord will give you increase more and more. That is perpetual. That is continuing. That is ongoing. And he says not just for you, but you and your children. He is concerned about you for the Lord hath remembered us. He closes by saying, may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. And I want to invite you to look at verse 12 and 13 one more time. Notice the word choice that God had the him, the psalmist write. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us he will bless the house of Israel he will bless the house of Aaron he will bless those who fear the Lord I want to ask you where do you see the word may in there where do you see the word might where do you see the word could no you don't see it because what it says is that this is a promise because the Lord has remembered us he will bless because of this then that you tuned in tonight just so that you could be reminded that the Lord has remembered you you tuned in tonight so that you could be reminded that he will bless you he will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those that fear the Lord, both small and great. And my prayer over you as we put the information on the bottom of the screen for you to call in for prayer is the prayer found in verse 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more. I'm praying right now for and over you that God will allow verse 14 to be your testimony. In that you will say that the Lord has given me increase more and more. Me and my children. No longer do you have to stay in a cycle of generational defeat. No more, no more, no more. You're calling in for prayer now because you needed to be reminded tonight that the Lord has remembered you. Mm. The Lord has remembered you. Huh. Oh Lord. Bless me indeed, I pray for increase, bless me indeed, I pray for increase, say bless me, bless me, say bless me, come on, just you and me right now, say oh Lord, bless me indeed. What do you want him to do in large my territory? Say now, oh Lord, call in for prayer. Bless me indeed. Y'all say it at home. Come on, say, I pray for increase more and more. That's what the Bible said. Bless me indeed. I pray for increase. Say it again. Bless me indeed. You say it at home. I pray for him more and more. As verse 14 said, Bless me indeed. I pray for him. Bless me indeed. I pray for him. Say, Bless me indeed. You got a few more moments to call. Say keep, listen, say keep 
your hands upon me. Come on and call in that no evil can not harm me. Sunshine, sunshine and rain even in sickness and pain Lord I am bring come to you this is what I want you to do on a Thursday night say enlarge my territory come on say it at home enlarge me indeed bless me indeed I pray for it bless me indeed God bless you tonight listen as we get ready to go down from here as we get ready to go down from here I told you not gonna hold you long tonight this worked so much work to be done here at the studio and everything that we've been able to do listen to me can I just talk to you for a moment everything that we've been able to do listen to me has been the result of the favor of God as well as and combined with your faithfulness in giving listen we're not a game or gimmick kind of ministry we don't do that we don't, we're, not, we're not about to dim the lights and prophesy that the next three people that sold X number of dollars, God's getting ready to do this. We don't say God said it if God didn't say it. And I hope that you would appreciate that with all of the foolishness that we see going on right now in this modern church age, right? But we do have no problem reminding you that with the help of God, listen, we have done everything we said we would do. We said we were going to get a studio. We got a studio. We said we were going to furnish this studio. We are furnishing this studio. We said we we're going to build a stage in here. We have built a stage in here. We said we were going to acquire our own mics, our own speakers, our own subwoofers, our own instruments. We have done just that. Mm -hmm. We said we were going to start a network. We started the network. Network's going strong. We said we were going to do this. We said we were going to do that. And with the help of God, we have done what we said. And I'm asking you very quickly, very directly, with honest and pure intentions. There's somebody watching right now that's designed. You are here to help us do what God has called us to do. I, 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 I'll confess, can I be honest? Can I be real with you? I sometimes struggle to really say everything that I see because some of what I see, can I be honest, is kind of crazy in the natural. You can't do that. You don't have this. You don't know them. You don't have a that. So sometimes I try to bridle myself and you know protect myself from sounding or looking foolish, but I got to just say it. I believe that there are people watching this ministry, people that tune in on a consistent basis, that have the, listen to me, that have the ability to write four-figure checks, to write five-figure checks. And you know what I know in my spirit? There are some of you that are watching this ministry and have watched us, have had eyes on us for months since we've started. And there's some of you that have the ability to write a six-figure check. 
no, no, notice, you see these 6K cameras and the resolution, notice the absence of a smile on my face. Notice the absence of, a, of an expression that says, I'm just kidding. Notice, look at my eyes. Notice the absence of hesitation or fear. I am serious. There's somebody watching that has the potential and the resource to send $100,000 to this ministry. And so, you know, I've seen what y'all are doing. Let's go ahead and fin. Listen, if you send $100,000 check, we will not only finish phase two, we will finish phase three. We will, we will, look, we will finish phase three. We're going to go into phase four. We will find a phase five to go ahead and do. Uh, maybe somewhere else. We'll help finish somebody else's phase two. Hear what I'm saying to you? But there's somebody watching that has the potential to do it. I am believing God. Everything we have done, we have done on risky faith. And I know, I know how we do. The numbers are going down. A few of y'all have tuned out. But there's somebody that's still here and you're listening for a reason. Can I tell you what the reason is? The kingdom hath need of you. Mm -hmm. The kingdom. Not, not, not just Mark. Not just Spirit and Truth. Not just, not just Minister Antoine and, and, and Elder Thomas and those that are part of Not just us. The kingdom hath need of you. God has put resources in your hand for such a time as this. Hear me? I'm talking to you. I don't, I don't, I, you, you might, you might respond right now. You might inbox me later and say, I, I, I felt, I know you were talking to me. In fact, if I'm talking to you, I want you to reach out to me now. I want to respond. I'm, I'm, I've got my phone in my hand waiting on you. There's somebody watching that says, I need, I, there is a thousand dollars in my account that belongs in the kingdom. I need to sow it. There's somebody watching me right now that's saying there's $5,000 in my account right now that belongs in that soil. Because that soil is where the harvest is. I'm not playing. I'm prophesying with my eyes open right now. There's somebody watching that has a $500 seed in your account tucked away that belongs in this soil. I want you to release it right now. Because I got to tell you, that, that, look, look, I don't mean to, to, to be grand or whatever, whatever word you would want to apply to discredit this statement. But I'm telling you what I know in the Holy Ghost. For whatever reason, God has favored this ministry. No goodness of our own, but God has breathed on this. And some of you, the harvest that you've been believing for, because God is mindful of you, the increase more and more that God wants to give you, verse 14 of what we read tonight, is waiting on you to be obedient enough to sow a seed. And I'm not talking, I thank God, all of our $20 givers and our $10 givers, you all are the best in the world. We love you. We could not do what we do without you. But I feel something different tonight. Some of you need to sow a significant gift. I've never given $1,000 to a ministry. In fact, I've never given $1,000 to a ministry that I've never even been to. But tonight might be your night. Why? Because there's a harvest that wants to come on the other side of your willingness to show that you know what to do with seed. There's, I, I'm saying it again. I'm putting it in the app. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, thank, the Lord is mindful of us. He hath remembered us. Thank you, Jesus. We have chairs now that we did not have a week ago because I opened up my mouth and said, I want to put 50 people in here. And you know what we got? Within minutes, 50 chairs. But hear what I'm saying. This not to be, y'all are so, y'all are, y'all are anointed. <laughs> y'all are anointed. Because I, I, I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I feel in my spirit. I am putting it in the atmosphere. The Bible says, come here, Daniel. The Bible says uh, uh, that, that, that when the angel confronts him, he says, you were heard the moment you prayed. And we have come. I have come for your words. In other words, listen to me. When you release words out of your mouth that are connected to what God has put in your heart, he sends angels to grab your words and fulfill what they said. You know what, one of the things I've been, I might preach about it next Sunday, I don't know, but one of the things I've been, I've been wrestling with, and I, I'm, I'm, I need you to go with me here, I've been wrestling with this whole scripture and this notion uh, where God did for Samuel, he gave Samuel this testimony that he didn't allow any of his words to fall to the ground. One of the things I've been praying is that, that God will allow me to speak with his voice in such a way that none of my words fall to the ground because God co-signs my statements. I'm telling you what I'm praying for. And I'm believing right now, I'm saying it again, there's somebody watching that has the potential to write a four-figure check, to send a four-figure cash app, to go to PayPal. You see the giving information. It's been up there for minutes now. To go to PayPal and send a four-figure seed. 
There's some of you watching that can go and give Lafai and send the four figure seed. If that's you, I'm telling you, this is your confirmation. You know that some of the reason you've got seed is because God wants to use you to finance the kingdom. I want to make, I'm not even going to tell you yet what I feel like doing, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting on you to obey God so that we can obey him. My obedience is being held up by your disobedience. I want you to do it now. There are some of you that have the ability to send a five-figure payment. There are some of you right now that can go and give the five and send a five-figure seed into what God is on here. Some of you can go on Cash App and send a five. I, I know, I know it'll let you because I've done it before. Mm -hmm. Some of you have the ability right now. Some of you can send a six-figure seed and say, I want to be a part of what God is doing. This is not about, one more time, this is not, this is a testimony to the glory of God. Nothing that has been done in here has been done by qualified people. I didn't go to school for, for, for this. I'm a sociology major. But when I stepped out on faith, God sent the people. And can I say this? Everybody that has sown into this has been blessed. Pastor Bellinger that gave us these chairs just got a blessing to where they were able to update their church. Why? Because blessings are connected to this. So many others, I'm a close and I, I, I didn't plan to go this way. I, I've spent more time doing this than I did uh, 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 teaching, but that, that, that psalm got me. The Lord has remembered us and he will increase us more and more. I'm telling you that as we are stepping into more and more, you are stepping in with us. On this platform, and I want you to tell me if you're sowing now. Some of you that are going to sow that large seed, a significant seed, Listen to me very carefully because this is what I hear the Lord saying. As you sow it, I want you to sow it. Listen to me. And in the notes, I want you to put increase more and more. Because this is, listen to me, this is a Psalm 115 and 14 seed. May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. Some of you, as you're sowing now, whatever you're sowing, in the notes, I want you to put increase more and more. Some of you, you have children, put your children's name in the notes of your seed. Some of you that don't even have children, you're not even married yet, but you've got that name picked out. Put the name in there. I'm sowing this for, for so-and-so. I'm sowing this for Junior. I'm sowing this for the third. I'm sowing this for baby girl. I'm sowing this for whoever it is. I want you to put that increase more and more. Because I'm believing there's something special going on here. I was in the office and I'm closing it. You know, we've been writing the names of people that are sowing on the platform. We're getting ready to write some of your names in just a little bit as you're sewing now but I was in my office right here at the studio I'm closing with this sitting at my desk going over numbers looking at the vision God had given me and saying man oh man I really want to I want to do it this way but that's going to cost this that's going to cost that I don't have this and I was I was to be honest fighting off discouragement because I said man we've come so far but we got so far to go and I got a message from somebody that I've never even met before got a message from someone that I never even met before that I was in the office at my computer and uh, one of the people in here right now was in the office with me we were going over some some numbers and doing some work and, and they were working on their part and I was working on my part and uh, this person texted me and said the Lord told me to sow into you I said oh that's great he said it's been on my mind the Lord told me to sow. I've never met him never been in the same room as him he said, the Lord told me this only. I said, well, thank you so much. Now, I've heard that a lot in this season, you know, and I thank God for it. And the Lord told me this only, and they'll send $10. So thank you, Jesus, we needed that. The Lord told me this only, and they'll send $20. Thank you, God, we needed that. The Lord is doing it. So I'm prepared, you know, for a, a $50 seat. I thank God we need it. I've been asking for it. And I told him, I said, I'm in my office right now going over numbers about how we're going to make this work. I said, so your seed, absolutely. Thank you so much. He says, oh, okay, well, will $5,000 help? I said, well, I told him, I said, don't play, hey, don't, don't play with me now. I'm in a sensitive space. You don't, this, that's not funny. He said, no, I'm serious. I said, well, 5,000 help. I said, I just talked earlier to one of our contractors and they told me that we were 7,000 away from finishing this portion of the project. And he said, all right, well, I'm gonna give with my wife. We're gonna send it right over. And then he said, and it sounds like we need to increase our seed. So 7,000 it is. Y'all don't hear me. He sent $7,000 within a few moments 
to the project because he said, listen to this, I told him, I said, well, wait, hold on, I wasn't signifying, I wasn't saying it for that, I, I was just letting you know that the $5,000 seed would be amazing for us. He said, I know, but I can tell that y'all's heart is right, and y'all are doing this for the kingdom, and I want to be a part of it. And I'm saying to you, now, this isn't to be spooky or none of that, but I'm saying to you, there is an increase for growth on this ministry. Resources are looking for us. And the best thing you can do if you have resources that God wants in this house, the best thing you can do is put God's money where he wants it. And I'm challenging you to sow right now. This is a, this is a Psalm 115 and 14 C. This is for increase more and more. You and your children. I'm done. You're going to do what you feel led to do. Some of you you, 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 you got your phone in your hand shaking. I can feel you right now through the screen. You got your, oh, I ain't never sent, I ain't never sent $2,500 to a ministry before. I've never sent $3,000. I've never sent $1,000. I've never sent $500. But you know what else? You've never, you've never been a millionaire yet either. You've never, you've never, you've never been debt free yet either. For some of you listening, you've never done what you're about to do. You've never walked in what's on the other side of your seed. I'm challenging you to step out on faith. Trust God. Because our prayer is may the Lord give you increase. More and more. You and your children. Obey God. Can't wait to hear the rest of the testimony. I love you. We got to go. I'll see you on Sunday. Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Sunday Morning Express. It's a joy to preach live to several thousand people at 7 in the morning every Sunday. We're back in full swing. Meet us 7 a.m. 7 o'clock p.m. I'm telling you, don't miss this Sunday night. It's the last Sunday of the month. And I'm telling you, God's going to do something. I got a sneaky suspicion you're going to be blessed on Sunday night at 7. Remember, look out, partners. Look out for the invitation to... Uh, register for our first ever in-person service it's going to be social distance and we're going to be spread out all over the sanctuary in our new chairs hallelujah to god uh, you're going to have to get your temperature checked and do your testing and all of that but i promise you god's going to meet us in this place and i hope i'll see you there my prayer for you one more time is that the lord will be mindful of you and that the lord will give you increase more and more you and your children God bless you until we meet again. Take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. You're going to need him. You're going to need him everywhere you go. I'll see you Sunday. Be blessed.